May I just say guys, today's Clips of the Month episode is by far my best episode yet. I understand I seem to say this every single episode, but January's Clips of the Month, today's video, it's freaking insane. You guys are about to witness probably the best Call of Duty trick shots that you guys have ever seen. We've got private match, online, campaign clips, all non-set up, dirty here, just goes to show you guys what you're about to witness throughout that video, well, throughout this video. This is a 1440 non-setup on Yemen. Like, what the frick is this? Now, this next clip here by Ladded, I've noticed this bloke sent me about four clips this month, and they're all really, really wacky. Kind of clips you've probably never seen before. Stuff that makes no sense, but it is really creative. Kind of cool to watch as well. Like, I don't really know how to commentate it because there was a knife lunge in there. He's now in a chopper gunner. It was like a two or maybe a three piece. I don't know how many people he killed, but then apparently he killed someone with the inter intervention. I do quickly want to mention two guys whilst I'm kind of going on my little ramble here. Um, Like always in my Clips in the Month episodes, I always have a top 10 at the end of the video. So if you guys happen to feature in the top 10 this month, you will hear a ding in your clips. So right when you manage to build a kid, you hear a ding. That way, I don't know, adds, adds some excitement, some anticipation into this video. I think it's pretty cool. At the moment, at this current time, I have no clue who's in the top 10. I haven't actually chosen the top 10. Now, I might actually share a screenshot with you guys. Those orange markers you guys see on screen right now are people that could potentially be in the top 10 this month. And there's literally about 50 to 60 markers there. And I've got to narrow that down to the top 10. That just goes to show how crazy, how insane this month's episode is. Like, it's honestly just freaking out of this world. Now, this clip here by Drago, I believe his name is, this is non-setup. Across the map on MWR, you don't see many, you know, non-setup private match clips on this game simply because you can't disable enemy weapons. For that reason, it's kind of a pain to trick shot on, but that bloke kind of, you know, he, he just made it look easy. Now, this clip here by Clutch, once again, he makes it look easy. He's on Turbine. Turbine is like the hardest map to hit non-setup smokers on. Like, it's seriously such a challenge. This clip, this is nuts. So... I believe this map's called Metro. He manages to hit an outer map donger across the world. And the coolest thing about it, it's non-set up. You see, you know, big kind of, I don't know, red members, you know, just obey members and shit, you know, hit that, like, you know, for videos, like, set up with, like, you know, what's it called? Capture the flag. These blokes manage to hit it non-set up, like, it's just out of this world. And he gets to reload. The clip itself is so clean. Now, this one here, guys, this is like a top five. I mean, a top five. It's like a five-piece or a six-piece. I don't know how many people he kills. But it's just, I don't know, that's pretty cool. That's obviously super rare to do as well. Like, the fact that he kills that many people... First attempt just dongs it. Like, imagine if you got the reload. I understand there's a lot of myths on this game. Like, apparently, if you double tap your what's it called, your bullet trail isn't accurate. You know, you're more likely to hit if you don't get the reload. That's you know people's I guess opinions about this game. In my opinion, I think it's a load of bullshit. I think no scopes are completely random. No matter what you do, whether you double tap, whether you freaking push square, whether you freaking I don't know what you do, boost before you shoot. Bullet trails are random, you know, just freaking keep going for your attempt. If if it's on every attempt, you're eventually going to dong it. This one here isn't like, this is probably the worst clip in the video. Now, obviously the clip itself is super clean, but in terms of distance and stuff, and like the height he had, it's probably the worst clip in here. So that really goes to show what you guys are in for. Like, honestly, all these clips are incredible. This one here, what I've, what I've tried to do this month, guys. So a lot of you fellas seem to think all the, um, what's it called? Was that a, um... A Dahlia? Might have been a Dahlia knack. The kind of, you, you automatically go into the running man like instantly. It's apparently a knack, like a running man knack. But yeah, guys, a lot of people seem to think all the Black Ops 2 clips are aimbot. I don't know why, but they seem to think it. Pause it on the bullet trails. They always go right into the, in the kit. If it's a headshot, you see the bullet trail go into the head. Trust me, these clips are legit. Understand, obviously, boat bangs on carrier don't seem legit, but these blokes seem to show me a lot of attempts beforehand. They have a lot of deaths, like I'm talking hundreds and hundreds of deaths, so I seem to believe it. Even this one here, he's added match bonus in, so obviously he's a modder, but trust me, it's a legit clip. Pause it, you see the bullet trail go dead into the kid. Don't pause it on the kill cam, because bullet trails and kill cams are inaccurate. This clip here by Napsy. Now, I believe I've got two friendly fire shots this month sent to me. I wouldn't normally use friendly fire shots, but just look how insane this is, man. Like, I had to use it. It was just crazy. This one, dude. So this is in search and rescue. It's in private match. So he's just got the one dummy setting up for him. And I just found that really dope. Like, 
to build a kid, like just to build one dummy like that and the fact that he got the knack, it's, it's incredible and it's a super clean clip, this one. I love the clips out of the map here on Splash, like they are so, so dope. Like how the frick do people manage to hit this? He's out of the map and he hits a non-setup smoker into the map and it's just, it's clean as well. That's what makes it that much better. Like you would expect people to hit that, but they might stop and stare at or something. Like that bloke didn't stop and stare and that's truly insane. This is incredible. I get so many comments of people wanting me to play Advanced Warfare, make some non-setup, you know, Advanced Warfare videos, but I just can't be bothered learning how to trick shot on the game again. I'm so used to Black Ops 3, you know, once you jump, you kind of hold X down. I'm not used to just tapping X like you do in Advanced Warfare, so I find it very difficult to trick shot on the game. I used to be, you know, pretty good at it back in the day. I've hit a few online smokers on it. I've actually hit one of my best trick shots ever on that game online, so... You know, I'm decent at it, but now I'm just, I don't know, my fingers are so accustomed to playing freaking Black Ops 3 that I can't get the gist of Advanced Warfare, but obviously I do need to get into it, and I promise you guys, hopefully within the next couple weeks, I will be making a non-setup video on Advanced Warfare, maybe with a friend, like we'll do like a little face-off video or something, because I feel like I have no chance of hitting on that game, so I need a friend to help me out. Ah, inserts to see the crazy clip. Oh, you guys are going to love this one. Like, this is just, this is truly insane. I should have mentioned too at the start of the video, these clips aren't in any particular order. I just, like, throw them in. I download the clips, put them all in. I believe they're in here, in, like, they're, they're ordered based off the alphabetical order in terms of what these blokes titled the video. Like, if the title of their video started with the letter A, I believe they'll be somewhere at the start of the video. If they titled it with a Z, they'll be at the end of the video. Anyways, that previous clip on Black Ops 3 on the map Hunted by Pack, that was freaking across the world. That was truly incredible. This one here by Sketch, he manages to shoot the C4 and blow an enemy up. I believe this is online in a bomb lobby. Not a fan of those. It may not be, but... Yeah, not a fan of bomb lobbies, you know. I respect setup trick running, but only if it's in private match. I don't see the point of doing it online. Like, what's the point of going through the hassle of having a time limit, planning bombs, all that kind of bullshit? It's just a load of crap to join teams, honestly. Teams these days are freaking bullshit. That's why I'm not in teams, guys. I've been offered a couple teams recently. I just reject the offer. I like. I understand we've got a Call of Duty community here, but I feel like to grow your YouTube channel, you don't want to base yourself off the Call of Duty community. Like, you don't need to be in a team. Be yourself. Be a YouTuber that people just, you know, they don't have to be a part of this community to watch you. They can come from anywhere. And that's what I'm trying to do. That's why I don't want to join a team. Teams are bullshit, honestly. They're a load of shit. You ain't going to get anywhere. So, in my opinion, don't join teams unless you truly want to. But if you're just like me and you're a content creator, you're just like chilling, doing your thing, there's... Joining teams aren't worth it, like you gotta grind and it's just a pain in the ass. Then you start relying on other people to make your thumbnails, you get lazy and stuff like that. Just learn to do everything yourself. Like a lot of people think with thumbnails you need the most fancy editing software of all time. I freaking use paint. I've been using paint from the very start and I feel like my thumbnails are perfectly fine. You know, I've had some viral videos here and there, which means my thumbnails must be somewhat advertising for like 200,000 people to click on one particular video. So it's pretty insane. Anyways, we got Odd here, and if you guys notice, like, the people that feature my clips of the month are always, like, the same type of people. It seems like, I don't know, I get so many tweets of people saying, you know, when I watch your clips of the month series, I'll just watch you do a private match video. Trick shotting, you know, non-setup and private match looks so, so easy. Then they try and do it, and then later on they tweet at me, I've been grinding for two hours and I've hit shit all. I cannot hit nothing. Like, these people make it look so easy. Like, it seems like... All the people that hit these clips, they just keep on going. They don't stop. They don't hit just one crazy clip. They hit like 10 crazy clips within a week. It's honestly just, it's incredible. Like this one here, you see what I've done too, guys, with the crazy clips, I've actually shown you guys a couple attempts just to show you guys that it is legit because I feel like a lot of you fellas sit there thinking, this is a load of bullshit, you know. This this is, you know, it's aimbot, all that shit. So this just goes to show it's not aimbot. I believe he only had one dummy there too, and it's just so distant, and he just shot, like, right when he hit the water. That was truly incredible. This is nuts, man. Like, just hitting the suey on this map non-setup is already a pain in the ass. So the fact that he's out of the map and just, like, builds across the world, oh, it's nuts. I need a drink of water, guys. Did you guys just witness what happened? That was a slide non-setup. And it was clean, it was just, 
it's where is the kid like honestly what do these kids hit this one here just a nice clean 1080 backdrop wall bang something i've been going for when i was playing call of duty ghost not too long ago for some reason i could never manage to hit it like this bloke had all the bots kind of piled up like even though it was non-setup i don't know how we did it but that's what i gotta learn how to do this dude this is incredible bang this would have to be in the top 10 this would have to be in the top 10 dynamic, man. It's a floater. Like, I like 1440s, but when it's not a floater, I feel like they just look like shit on carrier because you hit the water, you don't see the reload animation. It looks terrible. But a floater, you know, takes all of that out of the equation because you get the reload animation and you don't freaking die. It just looks so nice. Right, this one here by Phoenix. Oh, yeah, this is weird. I feel like he kind of overspan the shot accidentally and shot backwards, but nevertheless, it was so clean. Look at it. Nice fade. Fades on Black Ops 3 look beautiful, dude. Bang. And he gets the reload. How the frick did he get the fade and the reload? I don't know. Now, the reason I keep looking over to the left, you guys are probably wondering, I'm recording off my webcam software from a different computer, which is over here. And here and there, it might say warning high encoding. So, I've got to look out for that. Because if it does, I have to stop the recording. Because that means... Actually, I can't be bothered explaining. Basically, it means I won't be in sync with this video and it'll look really choppy. This is nuts, dude. Seventh right now, he's in old school mode. He's got out of the map in old school because obviously in old school mode, you have double jump and shit like that. But he manages to hit a non-setup smoker in old school mode out of the map on vacant or on top of the map. I found that so super creative. He could be in the top 10 because... That was just really creative. I don't know if you guys kind of understand old school mode, but if you do, you guys will know what I'm talking about. This clip here, I don't understand how people get out of the map on that kind of elevator, but someone always seems to link me at least one clip from that spot, and they're always incredible. Like, that's nuts, dude. This here, out of the map, obviously, you know, he's modding to get out, but it is a legit clip. It's no bullshit. All these clips are legit. And, you know, there could potentially maybe be one that's, you know... I don't know, something to look out for, but I do go through the clips. I try and work out the people too. Like, Phoenix isn't just this, understand all these clips are legit. Like, what the frick is that? I didn't even know that was possible. I didn't know you could shoot and pull out a freaking whatever the hell that was. A dart, I believe it's called. That's freaking incredible. This is nuts, man. Like, so many kids on Black Ops 3 hit shots when they don't even shoot at the enemy. Like, the bullet trails on this game are just wacky. And he kind of shot at the kid, I guess. It was kind of to the left. Oh, this dude. This is nuts. So... There is someone featuring in the top 10 this month that hit from here. Isn't this bloke? Because some other bloke managed to one-up this guy's shot. Now, this is incredible. Out of the map, non-setup on Ghost. Ghost is a very difficult game to hit on. So, um, yeah, wait till you guys see the other Ghost shot from that spot. He got a can swap and everything. It was so, so nice. About one-sixth of the way through this video... And I'm all running out of, already running out of breath. This is non-setup. It's online. If you don't believe me, like I said, these people, you know, these guys always show me, you know, the clips are legit. This bloke, you know, in a link in the description, he had like the full round, so I was able to watch the full round. A lot of people seem to do that, which is good. Not all the time I watch the full round, but if you, you know, if you got the link there that says full round, I'm more than, I'm more than likely to put your clip in the video because I know it's a legit clip. This is non-setup across the world, out of the map, like, I always say, guys, like, it looks easy because you're just watching, you know, people hit, like, by the look of it, first attempt and shit like that. It ain't easy. Like, this clip here, you'll never hit. I promise you, you'll never hit it. You might hit it after a few days of grinding for hours and hours and hours and hours, but that's just what it takes, guys. Like, these are incredible, and I just want you guys to respect the clips. I don't want people to click on the video and go, oh, the yeah, answer's the same thing over and over. People hitting trick shots, you know, that's easy. Trust me, it ain't easy. Like, this, this... Was it, that was non set up online, I believe. I believe it's online. It may not be. It may just be, you know, S&D with the one bot. Because a lot of private match trick shotters like to hit certain destroy trick shots with the one bot non set up, which is pretty insane. Because obviously it's very similar to online trick shots, but it's just kind of cool in a way too. Because I don't know, it's in private match. This here, this might be in the top ten. Because last month I remember some bloke hitting this, but he hit it. Actually, hold up. Shit, I thought it was non-setup. It might not be non-setup because I saw a bot standing there. I'm not sure. Drax, if it was non-setup, you will be in the top 10. I don't know if that's a... Actually, maybe it is non-setup because a bot disappeared. I don't know, but that was just... That was incredible. It was out of the map on Infinite Warfare, and it just looks clean because... 
when everyone hits on Infinite Warfare, they freaking boost away. You know when they go for the sewage and boost away? It looks like trash. It just takes away the, I don't know, just the coolness of trick shooting on that game. Like, you gotta shoot and just free fall, not freaking boost away after you shoot. I don't know. I honestly think it looks like trash now. I have no clue where the kid is here. Dynamic. He's featuring a lot this month. Like, he went ham. He linked me so many clips. Now, talking about that, actually, like kids linking me a lot of clips. I'm only going to start taking like five clips from each person every month because it's getting to a point where people are linking me the whole entire app clip and it's just ridiculous. Like soon this episode or this series, well every single episode will be like six hours plus in length which is honestly just, it, it's too long so I need to limit it down. I want it to be at most half an hour long because I feel like, like this episode for example, one hour, it's a very long time for me to commentate for you guys to watch, most people get sick of it and click off halfway through, although some people may come back to it another time, I'm not too sure, but um, yeah, I think I need to make it half an hour tops, that way it's enjoyable, you guys can stick around, I can be more motivated when I commentate because I know I'm not commentating for an hour, because at the moment I know I'm commentating for such a long time, I'm kind of taking myself slow, you know, when you go for a run, you kind of save your energy, you take, you start off slow, so that's kind of what I'm doing. Chili Boy, this, this would have to be in the top 10. He has hit the craziest 1440 with the tri-bolt crossbow. Like, he's flanging himself away and hit a non-setup smoker. Doggy, my man. This is non-setup. He was actually telling me about this game because I'm personally friends with this bloke. This, he's on an American connection right now. This bloke's from New Zealand, so that's why it looks very choppy there in the kill cam. But we have no clue where the kid is. No one has a clue where he was. Like, that is a non-setup, legit, just donger. Like, it, it, it's just such a crazy clip. Like, you just saw him shooting on the minimap, randomly went for it and donged it across the world. None of us know where the kid is. This one here, truly incredible. I just hate that he landed. If he didn't land, it would have been 10 out of 10. But nevertheless, super clean. This is what I love about Black Ops 3. I love how people utilize the dark glitch. They use kill streaks. You know, they obviously use their tactical shit and everything like that. It just makes it really creative, really nice. This one here, I remember Phoenix linking me this clip. Now, this bloke titled it Lefty. He could potentially be in the top 10. I'll put an orange marker on this clip from memory because, I don't know, it was a knack, first of all. And it was out of the map, and it was just so clean with the Drake on. I, I don't know. I kind of just base clips off my personal enjoyment, and I just really enjoyed that clip. I think it looks so nice. I think it's well deserving of the top ten. So um, yeah. Like for example, let's say someone hits an Infinite Warfare dong on like this, and he boosts away like that. So it looks like trash. No offense, heats. So I don't know why people do this and boost away, but it, it ruins the clip. That could have been across the world. Could have been worthy of the top 10, but because he boosted away, it looks like trash. It's not enjoyable to watch, so we got no chance of placing him in the top 10. Heat, you've kind of gained my respect back after that. That was a freaking 360. I don't know if you noticed on Modern Warfare Master, he just did a 360, and it looks so clean. It was so nice. That was the most sexiest 360 I've ever seen in my lifetime. This one here by Dynamic, another 1440. I love the 1440 floaters. I've only hit one in my lifetime, and it was on my second floaters episode. I managed to hit it like eighth attempt as well, like incredibly quickly. From there, I've never hit another one, but oh, dude, they look beautiful. <sighs> Happy, my man, you're a dickhead. <laughs> Honestly, dude, that was incredible. Now, the reason I said you're a dickhead, I don't know if you guys have seen my video from way back, but basically I roasted him in a video, called him a dickhead. It was pretty funny. This here, he freaking what, knife lunged the watermelon and then build something to blow up. That was so creative. I believe it's in firing range on Modern Warfare Remastered. Well, firing range, it's not a map, but a thing you can go into, like you push start when you're hovering over your class, something like that. I don't know. Anyways, Phoenix again, this is incredible. So this is set up, but it's in search and destroy, which means he only gets one attempt. So that that's nuts. Like you gotta respect this clip, dude. He only gets one attempt because it's freaking suicide and it's on such a creative, you know, underrated map as well. Really nice. This, this could be in the top 10. Yes, dude, this could be in the top 10. I rarely see people, you know, NSL out of the window, but it just looks so clean. And it takes, like, so much skill to do as well. And the fact that he hit so clean with the double tap, no overspin, with the reload, freaking beautiful. You can't go wrong with the Modern Warfare 2 clip. Just a nice, simple donger. I should mention, so you guys know, oh wait, I'll talk about what I'm about to talk about after this. This is nuts. 
There's about three clips you'll see this month that are from this kind of area over the rock there. And honestly, I've got to pick one of them that is going to be featuring in the top 10 because they're all so insane. But it's just going to be so difficult to do. But to stay tuned, guys. You're about to see more dongers like that from that exact spot over the wall, but possibly even better than that one. Like wall runs and everything. It's, it's truly incredible. Now, what I was going to say, you guys know I've been robbed me on my phone. My wallet got stolen. Guess what, guys? I got my new phone, it got arrived yesterday, it came to or got delivered to my house yesterday because I bought it online. Now, it's basically a fake version of a Samsung S7, it's called an Elephone, like telephone but without a T, so it's called an Elephone S7, but honestly, it's such a dope, cheap phone, like, it's such a waste of money to buy iPhones and Samsung, you're just paying for the brand, like, my phone is just as good as those phones, and it's like, quarter of the price, well, probably about a third of the price, and it looks really dope, I'll show you guys in a separate video, like, Visually, it looks so nice. It's blue and it's got these cool shades through it. It's such a dope, awesome phone. Alrighty, we're going alright, guys. So we are 20 minutes into the video. So far, I have got no warning high encoding, which is always good. Now, I've actually got my webcam on a separate monitor right now. I've got it on, yeah, a separate monitor. So that's kind of why the background might look a little different. Anyways, this clip here, this is in Search and Destroy. This is non-setup with the one dummy and he just builds him. So like I said, I'm not a fan of, you know, set up clips, but if it's in private match and there's only one or two dummies, I respect it. If you've got like 50 dummies or 20, maybe 10 dummies, I don't respect it. You can only have one, two or three dummies. Any more than three, it ain't cool anymore. Anyways, this is nuts. We've got another out of the map smoker by Drax. I believe this isn't in the top 10 either. This is the second one we've seen from here because I believe there's a third one later throughout this video that shits on these two clips. And I believe it might even be from Drax as well, but it's just a really clean shot out of the tree, out of the map on Splash. Truly incredible. This here, cage match, online, set up. You've got no chance of getting in the top 10 troop bar. I hate seeing set up online dongers. Like, why? Why do people do it? No offense, troop bar. I love your clip. You're an awesome dude, but why do people do it? Why do people set up online? I, I don't know. It's, it's a waste of lifetime. Like, you can do it in private match. Why? Oh. It annoys me. Why do people go through the hassle of dealing with time limits and, you know, round for round bullshit? It's just a load of shit. Only because they want to join join a team and they expect basically from that they're going to grow their YouTube channel and make some money and there, bang, they got a career. No, it doesn't work like that, guys. It doesn't work like that. This, this could be in the top 10. Freaking 1080, like fakey, non-setup, freaking smoker, floater as well with the reload. Beautiful clean clip. That was a donger. Phoenix, you guys know what he's about to do. He's got one dummy setting up in search and destroy for him. Look at this. This is how you hit non-setup. I mean, well, set up smokers. You put no time limit in. You jam some S&D and you hit some smokers. No online freaking bullshit. I'm telling you, all right? Frick. Prince, you've got a weird name, man. See what I mean, guys, with the Suez? Like, if this was a floater, it would have looked so much cleaner. And I guarantee you guys, I cut the clip off before he hit the Suez. Yes, I did, because then, you know, that way you see the whole reload animation. It just looks cool. I like, I hate the carrier boat bangs or just carrier shots in general. And then you hit the suey and the reload animation disappears. It looks like trash. This is a chem shot. Truly incredible. He landed, which eh, makes the clip not so good. But trust me, it's it, it would have been so tough to hit. He got the can swap. He threw like a thermite or a frag grenade. I don't know what he threw. Really clean, really nice shot. Dreams, my man, this could be in the top 10 because I love to see creativity. I love to see different things. He is out of the map utilizing a dart glitch. I don't even, I don't get how he put the dart there. Like, how would he put the dart on the other side of that thing? Like, if he did it, wouldn't he have got killed because he would have had to be out of the map and he had like three seconds to do it and that's not enough time to do it. So he would have got shot. I don't know, but here's this bloke again, Ladder, just doing some really weird shit now. These clips would for sure be in the top 10 if they were more distance. I understand obviously he's hit the barrel stuffs because they're truly incredible and to get this is just hard enough in itself. So I respect it, but I'm just saying if it was across the map or just a little more distance, he could be in the top 10. But sadly, I don't think he'll be in the top 10 just because like I said, I base clips off enjoyment. And when I say a barrel stuff, I'm like, yeah, it takes away from the excitement, man. This is cool. This is cool. 1440 non set up on ghost and he pulls out this thing. What's that called? A flash? No, not a flash bang. Nine bang, a nine bang. He's out of the map, so he's used mods, but he's in a non setup dunger. And this is what I want to do for a video. The problem is I can't do it on PS4 because obviously you can't mod on PS4, but I've got a PS3 modder ghost friend and yeah, he can hook me up. So 
would have to do it on PS3, but honestly, you guys will love it. I've done it before, however, it was setup trick shots, so I want to do some non-setup smokers out of the map on the game. Chili boy, go on hand, mate. He's in search and destroy. He's a non-setup smoker. He had one attempt at that suicide with one bot, and he freaking built in non-setup. Nuts. Crazy. Dynamic. Truly incredible. Like, how do you link me so many clips? All right, I'm going to say this again. Please, guys, link me, like, five clips max. Like, five of your best clips for that month. Don't link me every clip you've hit. It's just... It, it's it's like I respect you guys linking me clips, but it gets to a point where it's like, okay, these are going way too long. Like I have spent weeks editing this video. Like as soon as I'm done with this video, I start downloading February's clips in the month and I start putting it together. Like honestly, think about having to cut every single individual clip and then having to like overlay every single name for each clip. It is a challenge and just saving everyone's YouTube channel too on my browser just so if you're in the top 10, I'll put your link in the description. It's also a challenge. Everything's a challenge about this series, but you guys seem to really love it. You all seem to leave a like. It gets a lot of views, so obviously people seem to love it. it goes kind of viral too. Like when you upload videos like this, really long videos that you know just says a lot of trick shots, they always seem to go kind of viral. Like just pull a little more views in my normal videos is what I mean. Should have mentioned the previous clip on Empire non setup on Black Ops 3. He kind of slid out of the map. That was really creative. I'm sorry I couldn't commentate over that. But I feel like I can't just commentate every clip because it does get to a point where it's boredom. So I like to talk about IRL things and just other topics and stuff like that. That way, it makes it a little more entertaining, I guess, in a way, rather than me going, okay, this clip, this happens, this clip, this happens, this clip, this happens. This is nuts. Now, I feel like I put this in my top 10 beforehand. I feel like he may be linking me an old clip that I've already used, but. Yeah, I won't be doing this again. I feel like I have used this before, but I just thought it's crazy. Let's just throw it in. Why not? I believe this is where we got our Hoffy streak. So, Hoffy the man. He used to feature in my clips of the month when I first ever started this series. Then he kind of hibernated, and now he's back. This month, he has linked me so many clips. It's incredible. They're all crazy, of course. No bullshit. Just, I believe we got like 15 clips in a row by this bloke. Now, this is a boat bang, and I found this really creative because you see everyone hit it to the right, but he hit it to the left where the ladder is to get up. So that was something different, something I've never seen before. And uh, yeah, non setup. Pretty crazy. The other ghost shot oh, from this spot was probably a little better. So if I had to pick someone to be in the top 10 out of these two, it would have to be the other bloke. But nevertheless, Hoffy, that was still insane. That's the problem. Like, I feel like if I were to put my own clips in here, I have no chance getting the top 10. Like, even if I hit something insane, there's going to be someone else out there that has bettered it. Like, that's what it feels like. Some people are hitting, you know, similar clips. But then that one bloke's just, you know, he's made it nicer. He's got more distance. It looks cleaner. Therefore, he's in the top 10 over the other bloke. That's how it always seems to be. Well, on a map like this, I don't get many clips submitted to me. So, if you're hitting on a map that people don't hit on, you're more than likely going to be in the top 10 than other people that are hitting on very similar maps because, I don't know, no one else is doing it, so it's not like you're really up against anyone. And that's what I like to see next month, different maps. This here is incredible. He shot through the window there. And, oh, my dude, that, that could be in the top 10. With toughness, so clean. With the reload, shot through the window. I don't know, 1080 as well, so nice. He, he has shot his uh, crossbow three times. And, uh, yeah, 1440 with the cam swap. You can't go wrong, but look. It's not a floater. The suicide looks like trash. You guys have probably noticed, like recently, I'm not, I'm a lot more honest. Like if you guys follow me on Twitter, you'd notice I call people out. I tell people they're trash, and I let you know if you're a dickhead or not. <laughs> I don't know. Like you guys, can, you know, do the same for me. It's funny. Some like, because I'm always like just a dickhead on Twitter. Like I'm just being myself. You know, I told Face Sensor the other day he's trash. No offense, but. I don't like his videos, so I just thought I'd call him trash, but yeah, the other day, well, yesterday I uploaded and some bloke screenshotted my video, it was on like 118 likes, which was really well, with zero dislikes, then he screenshotted himself disliking the video, he's like, yay, yeah, first dislike, so I retweeted it, you know, being myself, you know, I could have talked trash on the bloke, but I don't know what I'm getting at here, but... This is what I learned about YouTube. I feel like when you're a YouTuber, you're kind of like a different character to what you are in real life. And a lot of people change and try and be Mr. Innocent. And, you know, they try and not do anything bad on YouTube or Twitter. That's how I always used to be. But recently, probably the last three, maybe four months, you would notice if you follow me on Twitter, I have changed. I just now speak my mind. I be myself. If you like me, you like me. If you don't, you don't. That's just how I do it. So far, things are going great. Like, sometimes people are like, why did you say that? And other times, people stick up for me like, yeah, go winky. So... Yeah, there you go. You know, I'm being Mr. Nice Guy or just be myself. And I'd rather 
be myself and kind of, you know, change my attitude and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, all right, Wolfie, Infinite Warfare, <laughs> what if you're landing on, mate? You're trash. No, I'm joking, dude, Wolfie, that, that was a donger. I just wish you didn't land, that'll be so clean. Imagine if he hit that over the wall there, like, that. oh, dude, this is nuts. This could be in the top 10. Bang, like I said, I don't see many MWR shots, but... This was clean. Boom. I think he's wall banged it too. Has he? I don't know. He's got steady aim on. Well, it would have been like minuscule health, but that's pretty incredible. I've tried going for that in videos. Never hit it. Now, I've shown multiple attempts here, which must mean it's a freaking smoker. And it's a smoker. Who hits out of there? Like, that's so cool, dude. Like, in spawn. I remember Set Zorro, the old leader of Set. He hit a clip from there once. Set up. EB as well and everything, like the leader hit it set up online with EB and put it in his own clips of the week so Set could have an upload that week. Think about that. Is that not, not like the most trash thing you've ever heard actually? I was in Set at the time and I exposed him because I used to expose people back then and I exposed the leader of Set for hitting an EB clip. Oh dude, that was the time. And then I left the team right after I did that but honestly, ah, I've done some funny things on YouTube. I think I deleted the video. I used to do like exposing videos and expose people for, you know, using EB and shit. And I exposed so many kids, like in big teams too. I was like a mini saw trust dude. And yeah, a lot of kids got angry at me. Zoro got angry at me too, but he freaking deserved it, man, little scumbag. Homer, Homer Simpson. I believe this bloke was in one of the last clip of the butt with this clip, but yeah, I don't know. It's back. How far into this are? <gasps> We're halfway, 30 minutes left. So far, I've only got a little bit of sweat on the back, not too much. You guys know. Window shut door shut, PC on, laptop on, creating heat, generating heat, room gets freaking hot, really hot, and I've actually got to take my nan to a specialist later, and I don't want to be sweating my ass off when I do that, because I've got to freaking drive her to no man's land, anyways, evade, oh yeah, non-setup, smoke car on carrier, he is flying high, oh yeah, really high, good shit evades man, you're a dunger, <laughs> oh, my stomach's making noises there, See, now I'm out of topics of what to talk about. This is what I mean, like half an hour. See, if all half an hour would be done by an hour, it's, it's a good time to bunch it all up. Excitement for half an hour, bang, we're done. Now, now I just don't know what to do. Maybe I'll just chuck like heaps of ads in the video, you know, to break it up a bit, you know, what they do on TV. Because if you guys hear for an hour long, you might get bored. So I'm not putting out an ad here every five minutes, you know. Just let you guys have a little break, get refreshed, get rejuvenated. You know, whilst the ad's on, go get some water. Go eat some watermelons, you know. Eat some sandwiches and I'll just, you know, bring in the cash. Bring in the cash, ink here. <laughs> the reason I've saved this, guys, a lot of people think you make a lot of money off YouTube. The reason you see... People like myself still going. You're probably thinking like, you know, he uploads like, well, I don't upload, you know, really consistently, but someone like, I don't know, who uploads consistently is in a decent team. I don't know. Let's say they got 5K subs. You see him uploading like almost every day. You're probably thinking he's making money. That's why he keeps doing it because he makes money off of it. The truth is he ain't making money. The reason he keeps going and going and going is because he's trying to get to that point where he can make it somewhat of a career. So yeah, it's just go. I, I make nothing off YouTube. I should make a video on how much I make. I never have, but I don't know what I'm allowed to show and what I'm not. Because I know with YouTube, you can, I think, tell your subs how much you make. But there's certain things you can't say. And I don't want to get copyright strike. AZ double N, you're freaking insane, dude. That was out of the map in Advanced Warfare. So incredible. Put out, like, score streaks and uh, it's nuts. <sighs> JK, this bloke's an infa. Hits a dung yeah, across the world. I've got him in the private match trick shunning recently. He's got into it and he seems to really enjoy it. He's hit some smokers. This could be in the top 10. I love shots that, you know, where you utilize cool things like this and you shoot like over the map. Like, it's pretty dope. We got JK again. He's now utilizing three darts. This is something I don't get how you do because you can only call in two darts at once. Once you have two darts up there and you go to, you know, use your third, as soon as you pull out your dart, it says, you know, dart not available. Like, you can't throw it. So I don't know how you do this. But if you are watching this, please let me know in the comment section. I'll pin your tweet because I really, I mean, pin your tweet. Pin your comment or highlight your comment so it's top comment because I really want to know how to utilize three darts. Like, I want to hit a dong up in freaking heaven. Like, it's, it's my freaking just, it's my, it's my thing. IQs. This is weird. This is weird. This is like one of Ladd's laddered clips. You know, the bloke called Laddered from earlier? It's like one of those, all right? Like, you, you'll be watching it and you'll just be like, all right, so what, what's happening? I, I don't understand. Boo boo. Okay, just making sure we're recording. I was getting a bit worried then because sometimes I click start streaming instead of start recording. Look, 
He spawns in his mate's game in the middle of a trick shot on a different map and then just hits a dung up. Non set up. Or was it set up? It was in private match. Oh, dude. Pack, you're in the top 10. This is for sure in the top 10. Ding. You would have heard the ding. Oh, I don't personally hear it myself, but I know it's going to be there. This clip will have to be in the top 10. A knife lunge freaking floater. I've never witnessed this in my lifetime of existence. That is incredible. That is like just. That is taking floaters to a whole nother level. You know, you see the in map trick shots, but when you see the floaters like out of map trick shots, that's incredible. But when you see a knife lunge out of the map floater, that's incredible. That was a donger, dude. <clears throat> Alrighty, we got pack again. Oh, dude, this clip goes forever. This has been like fast forwarded by like 30 times because, like 30 times the normal speed because. It, it takes him two hours to get up here. He gets one freaking attempt. It's a chem shot, which means he would have had to get to last to get the chem. Well, get enough kills to get the chem. Then he's had to get all those freaking maniacs or whatever the frick he did to climb the care packages to get out of the map or on top of the map, run around, kill some kids to get to last, come all the way here, call in the chem, hit the donger out of the map. Like, one attempt, all that, that whole process would have taken a solid 45 minutes, about half an hour just to do, just to get up here. So about one attempt every half an hour, and he hit it. He's getting in the top 10. He's got to get in the top 10, unless I somehow skip the clip or miss it you know that could potentially happen it's happened before i'm so sorry if it does happen but yeah you will be in the top 10 right scorched here see you see a lot of people dong from here a lot of fringe dongers a lot of turbine dongers which is surprising because turbines are very hard map to hit on and i'm getting a lot of turbine submissions i guess this is a really enjoyable really fun map for trick shotters to play on so i guess that's why you're seeing a lot more kind of turbine clips because there's more people playing turbine therefore more people hitting, even though it is a very difficult map to hit on. But like wet work, for example, you don't see very, you know, you don't see many clips here very often, so it's refreshing. Carry out, you see a lot of clips. Now I believe this is not a floater. You guys will see what I mean by the suicide's not looking very clean. So bang, he hits, and ah, oh, frick, where did his gun go? It disappeared and it came back. Doesn't look clean, but dude, dude, imagine hitting this. Imagine just how like. <laughs> I don't go for that shit because I know there's no chance of me hitting it. This is nuts. This is out of the map. Love me out of the map, dongers. Non set up by Jay. Where is the kid? Like, just imagine hitting that, guys. Like, it must take them 100 billion attempts. Now, we got Drax. This is a floater. We freaking love floaters. He does the freaking select fire knack to. Let's try and commentate this. Select fire knack, insta swap, insta swap. Pull out the hell. Is it a hellstorm or lightning strike? Is the swap double tap reload maybe? I don't know. Here's the second friendly fire shot throughout this video. This is the very last friendly fire shot you'll see. I believe I only put two friendly fire shots in this video. But I put it in here because look, look how nuts it is. You gotta remember, it is still non set up and it's across the map. And I believe it was a wall. It is a wall bang. It's a wall bang as well. So that was cool. This here, it is set up. It's in private match and it's incredible with one freaking dummy. He's actually playing split screen right now or at least got a second like PS3 in. So, or Xbox 360, whatever you want to call it. But ah, people gotta respect the clips. Hammy. Or oh, Hammy, this is in the top 10. Congratulations, my man. By the way, guys, for the people, you know, placing in the top 10, can you guys drop them a sub? Because I want them to actually grow from this series. I know other private match trick shotters had, or just general trick shotters in general, you know, to place first of gain a couple subs, but I want to try and boost these guys' channels up. Like, I will have the top 10. Their links will all be down in the description. Check them out, because most likely the people that are placing in the top 10 are private match trick shotters, which means they've got montages, episodes, everything like that on their channel, music behind it, edited, really cool shit, you know, you're just going to see some awesome edited non-setup smokers that you guys probably haven't seen on my Clips of the Month series, different new kind of trick shots, really creative stuff, like, I honestly think you guys will love it, I'm subbed to quite a few of these non-setup trick shotters, just because, I don't know, I think it's really entertaining to watch, you know, just before I go to bed, sit down for 10 minutes, scroll through that uploads, watch some dongers, man, that's what it's all about. Just relaxing. This here by Duck. Now, he's in Infa, so I'm guessing he used to be an online trick shot, and now he's turning into a private match trick shot, which is always good to see because I feel like online's not worth it. The only reason people trick shot online, there's one reason, not because, well, because it's fun and stuff, but the main purpose is people play online to join a Call of Duty team. Now, like I said earlier, Call of Duty teams these days or nowadays, they're not, they're not as useful as what they used to be. They used to help you grow your channel and shit like that, but... 
yeah, like I said, if you guys want to make money and kind of make YouTube a career, let's say you want to be pulling at least 50,000 views a video to make a normal income that, we'd, that you would get at a normal full-time job. So you guys see what I mean? Like, pulling 50,000 views a video, it's tough. you got to be up there, but obviously I do this for enjoyment. You can make some money. Like, my whole goal with YouTube is just to pay for my petrol, you know, maybe once every fortnight, which at the moment I'm not doing, so my petrol's about, I don't know, 50 bucks a tank maybe every fortnight so I'm, I'm probably making about $25 nah won't be that much it's because I don't upload consist if I uploaded more I would make more money that's just the truth but yeah I probably make uploading about twice a week maybe three times a week I'm making about let's say $18 maybe every fortnight about $18 maxi non setup freaking search and destroy one one bot suicide he had one attempt because he died when he jumped up there and he built it he could be in the top 10 i've never seen any actually i think i have that was maybe the second non-setup dong i've ever seen search and destroy from a suicide spot in mdabar that deserves respect that's the exact same as online no difference like the freaking that's just it's truly incredible the enemy even has freaking you know guns on modern warfare you must said so it's not like the bots running around with knives Alrighty, 20 minutes left. So, yeah, I believe... What's his name? I don't know. Whoever hit the MWR clip, you should be in the top 10. Now, this is some weird... This is a weird name, dude. My back's getting real sweaty. I think I'm going to have to shower after this. I didn't want to have to do that, but I think I'm going to have to do it. This is nice. I can't... Well, you can't go wrong with some tree freaking dongers on raid. Looks really beautiful, especially when it's a 1082, but still, nevertheless, the 720s look really clean. This here, just a nice Nuketown smoker. Now... There's actually a really cool Nuketown donger you guys are going to see later. So I believe Drax hit it. He was actually in a um, Hunter glitch spot and he hit a reload knack non setup. Like, you don't see many reload knacks non setup. So you guys are in for a treat for that one. You're going to love it. This one here by Miko Man. Green screen floater. Oh, I've had floaters linked to me beforehand. They're featured in the top 10, but I've never had a green screen floater sent to me. Now, this is the clip from earlier, what I was saying. Some bloke hit this, but this bloke won up. Look at that, can swap, so clean. I believe he added maybe one extra spinning, or maybe it was similar, but yeah, just because he had the can swap, it makes it that much better. Like, just a little bit better than the previous one, but whoever hit the other ghost shot, your clip was still truly incredible. Like, it honestly was, but yeah, like I said, there's always gonna be people com competing, someone always hitting the same clip as you, but whoever's better, He's in the top 10. Personally, that guy, he just added something extra than what the other bloke did. He added the can swap. Therefore, you know, he has a higher chance of being in the top 10. This here, now, I don't know if this is non-setup or setup, but people seem to link me this recently. I don't know how they do it. They're out of the map. So what you do, you kind of shoot, you hit like a little barrier, then you kind of run around, you go back on the hill, go for another attempt. I think it looks really cool. I want to do it for a video. I think it'll be such an enjoyable, awesome video for you guys to watch. Like stuff like that is so cool, so creative. That's why I love private match. Like, shit, you can just, you can be so much more creative than what you are online. Because online, you're not going to see this type of shit. Like, over the, you know, you're not going to see bills over the top there. Like, you might see one in your lifetime of existence, but in private match, you can see it multiple times, different combos, different weapons, different guns, different everything. I just think it's really exciting, and that's what makes private match so awesome. Sorry I keep sniffling, guys. I still have got a cold in my previous video. I was mentioning I had a cold. I still got it. It's not as bad, but... Yeah, all I got now is a runny nose, you know, the sore throat's freaking gone, he's long gone. Alright, we're getting to the end of the video, let's just pray to God my recording doesn't stuff up. Like, just imagine, guys, like, I do this whole commentary and then my recording stuffs up and I have to do it again. i will kill myself. I would straight up, nah, I wouldn't kill myself, but... Dude, this is out of the map by Phoenix, non-setup. He could be in the top 10 on Advanced Warfare. Look at it. Like, he, they don't stop spinning. They make it so clean. There's no stopping sales or anything. This is nuts, actually. Is this a flo If this is a floater, he's 100% in the top 10. I, I can't remember if this is a floater or not, but Duck, he's in the, the info bloke. Info Duck. You're incredible, dude. Ooh, it's not a floater. <laughs> still, still crazy, dude. Still crazy. He could be in the top 10, but then again, like I said, clips always competing. Some other bloke hit a similar clip and he was floating. You got the reload animation. That might one up that bloke's clip. You guys want to feature in the top 10. You want to increase your chances, you know, from if you do happen to feature in the top 10, you may be able to grow off of it because your link will be down in the description. I'll love to put everyone's link here down in the description, but I'll be here all day, all night. I'll be here for too much straight doing that. Like, it's going to take too long. 
But um, yeah, if you want to feature in the top 10, you want to increase your chances, play maps you don't see very often. That way, like I said earlier, you're not competing with anyone else. It's kind of, more than likely, you're going to be the only bloke that hit from there. So um, yeah, like this here. So this bloke managed to hit out of the map non-setup, which once again, truly insane, truly incredible. But he's competing with someone else to hit it before. So I don't know, I've got to pick between the two, which one's going to be in the top 10, because I don't want to be using two of the same clips. You know what I mean? Because I feel like, you know, people might want to see the top 10. I feel like, you know, down the line, they're bored. What can I do? Oh, let's watch Inky's Clips of the Month. Oh, I've already watched it. I don't watch that, you know, the hour-long episode. I just want to go back and see the top 10 because they're truly incredible, insane clips. So, yeah, it's just kind of things people want to come back to. So, they would like to see something refreshing, not like two of the same clips, you know, together. Anyways, this here, this is a three-piece. Bang. But see, he, he could be in the top 10 as a three-piece, but you know, we've seen Studio, guys. We've seen it. Don't get me wrong. Play Studio. Have fun. Hit some dongers. But if you want to be in the top 10, different things. It's like this. So this clip could be in the top 10. He hits a third-eye freaking donger, but we've had a clip from here beforehand in the top 10. We want, it, we want it to be refreshing. We want the top 10 to be new. We've seen this. We've seen it beforehand, ladies and gentlemen. You know what I should make? I should make a video where it's like a compilation of all the top 10 throughout my Clips of the Month episodes. Like, how insane would those clips be? Like, it'd be like 100 clips of just craziness. Dude, only if it's a floater. Like, if you guys from now on play carrier, right, and hit non-setup smokers, chuck it in floaters mode. If you don't know how to do it, check out my first ever floaters app. I believe I had a tutorial there. Just do it, man. Then that way, when you hit, you'll get the full reload animation or the silent shot, whatever you're doing. It'll just look so much cleaner, man. You might as well. Just do it. This dude, this clip here, this could be in the top 10. Very simple shot, but I think he's trying to build a kid, like, that's right in front of him here. So he's gone for, like, a wall bang in that building where his crosshairs are. But look at that. Oh, he underspins it and hits a shot across the world. Surely he wasn't purposely going for that, because if he was, he would have pushed start. So he could pull up his mini-map and look at his mini-map. Imagine if that was a floater. Oh, you can't do floaters on that map. Frick. That would have been a donger. See, this one here. Once again, we're competing. Two blokes have hit the green screen, but one bloke hit it with the floater. And floaters look so nice. It's funny, guys. I used to hate floaters. Like, I used to hate them. And then, yeah. I just Once I started making my floaters episodes, I freaking love them. It's because I think... Not necessarily how they... Oh, yeah, I was going to say not how they look, but that looks so beautiful. <laughs> but it's more the feeling when you hit a floater. See, this bloke's competing too. Frick, there was another bloke that I said would be in the top 10 hitting the tri-bolt crossbow donger. That kid just did it with a freaking floater. Shit. Now I've got to pick that. Two kids have hit from here, but I believe the other bloke, he was using a weapon I've never seen before. I found that really cool. This bloke is using a weapon I've seen before, but still, man, IQs, you deserve the respect. No, he didn't. He did buy it off sweets. <laughs> what, dude? <laughs> I just realized there's like some kid messaging him about the whole L7 drama right there. <laughs> That's pretty funny. That's actually really funny. <laughs> Anyways, we got Sketch. 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 This is in Team Tactical. It's set up. It's trash. What are you doing hitting set up dongers online, mate? Wasting my time, dude. I'm joking. Dong up. It's still. Not deserving at all of the top 10. No chance. You are not getting in for hitting setup dongers online. What's the point? Trying to join the team, mate? Grow your YouTube channel. Hit up Private Match. Make some videos. People love it. <laughs> ah, roasting out here. This is nuts, dude. Only if he added in something there and he wasn't playing spinning for so long, could have came first in the top 10 because that was truly incredible. Drax again, man. Reload Knack. Donga. Reload Knack. With... Is that the MP40? Dude, and he's using a silencer. Oh yeah, you guys are probably wondering, why is the game volume muted? I mute it because everyone that hits shots, their volume is a different level than all the other clips. You know what I mean? Every clip has a different volume. So one clip you might be watching might be quiet. The next clip is incredibly loud. That So obviously if I was to keep the volume on the clips, it's going to be wacky, man. It'll be quiet, loud, loud, quiet, 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 loud, loud, quiet, loud, quiet. You know, it's all over the joint. You'll constantly be adjusting your volume and yep. You would just get a tired thumb for it. It'd be like a thumb workout. Up, 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 down, 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 down. Up, 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 up. <laughs> yeah, so it's just easier to mute. Mute the game volume. I may put music beyond this, not too sure, because an hour in length of music is going to take me six hours to do. But I've already committed at least 24 hours into this video, so I think we can do that for you guys. Unless my recording stuff's up, then I'm going to kill myself. 
<laughs> Bang! Foda! Foda! He could be in the top 10 man. Tribal Donger, out of the map. How do you do this? How do you get in that spot? I need to do it for a video, but the thing is, no bots ever come to the, the suicide. So you get like one attempt every five minutes. That's the problem with that spot. It's so hard to hit from, but I want to hit it. Black Ops 3 floater. Who hits floaters on Black Ops 3? Like, I know, like, beforehand, you guys have seen floaters on Black Ops 3, but never non set up like crazy, like, did heaps of shit, and it legit looks like a floater. Like, it doesn't look like he landed or anything. 100% looks like a floater. Only if you got the reload. Laddered. This bloke is insane. I reckon this is probably the best clip of him that he sent to me this episode, like, in terms of this craziness, because. He ladder stalled. He was out of the map and he went into a ladder stall and built a kid and used a school shriek, which you never see on our Modern Warfare Remastered. This here, see, this is what I like to see. Non-setup online smokers. No setup online bullshit, which everyone's linked me so far. This is non-setup. And this is deserving of the top 10. Really clean. I love how he like gets hit market in midair and then builds a kid. That's just, it's perfect. Ah. <sighs> We got 10 minutes left. Now, a lot of people, and I mean a lot of people ask me, Inky, when's your next Clips of the Month episode coming out? If you if you happen to be one of those kids that ask me that, you are a moron. You're a moron. You're a dickhead. You're an idiot. All right, I'll tell you why. Clips of the Month. Clips of the Month. It comes out at the end of the month. People ask me halfway through the month, when's it coming out? Can you upload it tomorrow? Stuff like this. Like, are you serious? What goes through people's mind? Clips of the Month that comes out every month you know at the end of every month it comes out whether that be january the 31st maybe february the first or it could be like one or two days beforehand so maybe even february the third february the second but probably not after february the third i just wanted to address that issue or situation because you guys don't understand how many tweets i get from people asking when is your next clips of the month like you dickhead no hate guys i love all my subscribers but i just like to have a funny kind of personality here being myself like honestly you are a dickhead though like that's just the truth i love you guys for it but you're a dickhead <laughs> it's why surely don't you realize clips of the month end of the month this here by pumas this is incredible he's in a team is he in justice yes he's in justice so justice and vault the two prime match teams i know of they are incredible you need to sub to them because they upload like clips of the week and shit and when you see the clips that are in the clips of the week, it's pretty nuts. It's like the clips you see come first in my um, clips of the month is basically what you guys are expected to see in their clips of the week. Like, it's pretty insane. Like this here, I love the dark glitch kind of shit. That's what makes this game, it, it adds something to this game and it makes it exciting and thrilling. Like, I don't know. There's already the wall runs. You can already be creative, shoot over walls and shit. Obviously, you can't do that on old CODs, but on this, you can be creative in the sense of, you know, wall running like I've just said, but you can also utilize dark glitches, which is incredible. Later on, I think there's a couple clips near the end of this video where you see people hit wall run trick shots, but they NSL on the wall. Oh, well, well there you go, right when I said it. Do you guys understand how crazy this is? He can be in the top 10. He didn't get the reload, but look, he's NSLing on the wall. How do you do that? How do you NSL on the wall? When I do it, I fall off the wall. I don't know, dude. It's pretty funny though, right when I said it. I've only seen these clips twice now, so I would have seen them when I downloaded them, and then when I was putting the name overlays on the clips, I would have seen them too. Oh, and when I was cutting the clips. So I've actually seen the clips three times, so this is my fourth time now. Holy shit, so... Yeah, I, I kind of... Ex oh, this dude. See, yeah, I do remember the... It's quite amazing that I'm remembering 100 plus in Call of Duty trickshot clips. But I have seen them four times. Well, three times. This is my fourth time. But dude, this is... So, obviously, when you see shots on this map, it's never that good. But this is a wall map through the drinks. Shit, that was nice. You could actually be in the top 10 for that prison. I didn't expect that, but you could be in the top 10. I've never seen... Like, that's cool. You always see bullshit on that map. Although, I've hit a donger on that map beforehand, but nothing like what prism just hit. Nothing like it. Really clean clip, but just nothing like it. <laughs> oh, dude, you guys will love this. Bang, actually, I believe, see, it's amazing that I remember this. Four clips away, stick around, don't click off the video yet. If you're bored out of your mind, you have to go freaking oh, Phoenix, hold up. This is the clip that will be in the top 10, competing against the other clips. It was out of a tree, man, and it's with the Dracon. The reload animation on the Dracon looks so clean. Have you noticed most Pride Match Trick Shotters get the reload animation? Something to think about. I think it's pretty cool, but what I was going to say, guys, 
What happened? What clip was I talking about before and I just got cut off? Frick! Oh yeah, the ghost clip, non-setup, search and destroy or search and rescue, the one bot, non-setup. You guys are about to see that again, but way crazier. Dynamic, 1080. I believe he's in floaters mode too, don't quote me on that, but he might be in floaters mode. You saying my name? Oh, don't worry, I thought my sister was calling me. This one here, here it is. He's using an MK14, so obviously the no-scopes are a bit more accurate than the other clip, but this will have to be in the top 10, like... Oh, look at that. The control, the precision. He gets a can swap. He builds him non-setup and then just bang. And he gets the drop shot. Look, he lies down after his clip. See, I didn't cut it off before he lied down because it just makes it look so clean. I had to leave it in there. Like, it's funny. When I cut these clips up, I don't randomly just go, right, cut it here, cut it there. I'm really precise. Like, if some bloke... Oh, I'm not going to bother explaining. But basically, I cut it off perfectly like i like it to be cut off in particular spots like you notice every time the mag's being pull, pulled out of the clip like when he gets a reload he's pulling the mag out as he's pulling it out that's when i cut it off you'll notice maybe not every clip but about 95 percent of the clips are like that so let's see if this bloke hits a floater all right he didn't get the oh but i guarantee you guys i cut the clip off before he hit the suicide in the kill cam because the suicide makes it look ugly. Yes, I did. See, I told you. <laughs> I cut all my clips off a particular way. All right, so we got the reload. Now, he should, I should have cut it off when he's pulling it out. By the way, that's a 1080. That's incredible. And he's about to pull it out. Bang, cut. Yeah. <laughs> ah, that's pretty funny. This one here, this is not a dark glitch trick shot. He's just in a little spot, a glitch spot, I guess. And this could be in the top 10. I understand it's not incredibly insane. But like I said, I base clips off enjoyment. I have no clue where the kid is, and it just looks so nice. Like, the fade with the pistol class looks... Oh, this could even be in the top 10. Oh, did he just trick shot with three or four different weapons? Ballista? Oh, he trick shot it with three weapons. That's really nice. So he picked up the MSMC, so we got the can swap. That's nice. All right, we got another shot from here. This one's a little barrel. Some bloke beforehand one up on you styles. Nevertheless, still a crazy clip. Understand, like hitting 1440s is insanely hard in private match just because bots never go there. But some bloke before hit it with the tri bolt way further out. That was a donger. Drax, if I'm showing you guys one attempt before the clip, you know it's going to be insane. Bang. He hit the kid all the way out the back. Like, see that? Yep, you saw the kid climb the thing. And it was a Dahlia. And a Dahlia knack. A Dahlia rose. A rose. Roseberry. I think it was a knack. Hopefully I don't get in trouble if it wasn't a knack. Maybe it was just a running man. I I'm pretty damn sure. 85% sure he knacked. This is incredible. So tunes, he's in bolt. Private match trick shutter. Go drop him a sub, guys. If he happens to be in the top 10, just drop him a sub. Otherwise, search up Vault Tunes. This guy is really creative with what he does. So he goes invisible, so he's able to get on top of this thing. And then from there, he hits a donger across the world. I used to upload some campaign videos, by the way. I used to have like a little series called Campaign Trick Shining. My best Call of Duty videos I've ever uploaded on this YouTube channel is 100% my Black Ops 3 campaign videos. I spent hours and hours and hours editing them. That's when I was learning editing and I was so creative. Nowadays, I'm not as good as what I was because I just spent like days and days editing. If you haven't seen it, guys, go onto my playlist after this video and look for campaign trick shotting and watch those videos. Maybe my first episode isn't as good, but my other episodes, like my second, my third episode, they are freaking just dong delicious. They're so good and that's how I actually read random found my YouTube channel. So yeah, they're pretty good videos. I think you guys will love it. How long we got left? Oh yes, we're almost at the end. We got seven minutes and thirty seconds. I mean, oh shit, I don't want to end. I want to sit here and talk all day long. <gasps> man, be man. Look at this. Bang, so nice, dude. You do see wall runs and shit, but never like it's, it's like he hit the wall run from the opposite side. Normally, you see them wall running to the side, out towards middle. But this bloke, it was creative. I reckon it was wall bang as well, which makes it pretty dope. Look, we got this bloke wall running on the wall. I mean, wall running. Of course, he's wall running. Freaking NSLing on the wall. NSL, a lot of you guys, well, oh, have you always wondered what NSL stands for? Like, NSL means you spin on the ground before you jump off. Guess what NSL stands for? It stands for No Scope Legend. You're probably thinking, how is spinning on the ground stand for No Scope Legend or whatever the frick I'm trying to say here. But basically, back in the day, some bloke left a comment, by the way, and this bloke got tons of comments, uh, tons of likes on this comment, which is basically saying this guy's correct, listen to him. So, back in the day, there was a bloke called No Scope Legend, you know, real OG trick shot on, on Modern Warfare as well as Modern Warfare 2. And this bloke came up with, you know, spinning on the ground. So, therefore, spinning on the ground is now 
called No Scope Legend. It stands for, no, called NSL, which stands for No Scope Legend. Do you guys see where I'm getting at? Basically, a bloke called No Scope Legend used to spin on the ground, so it's now called NSL. Well, there you go. Anyways, Dreams, you guys would have seen this in my previous video. I tried recreating it, although well, I virtually hit a barrel stuff from here. I <laughs> did it kite, hit it to waterfall, which was the plan or the mission, so I'm pretty trash. That was truly incredible. That could be in the top 10. It has a pretty decent chance. This here by Mute, super clean with the can swap. He did everything perfect. No overspin, nothing. Just nice, clean dunger. Oh, we got a clip here by Zevra. Now, he's going to be competing against that other bloke that hit the knack. Ooh, is this knack better or is the other one? The other knack had more distance, but then again, this one's a suicide, so we only had one attempt. I don't know, man. I don't know. They're both pretty insane. Inserts. This bloke's name, he changed his name from inserts to inserts, so I don't really know what to call him, but he's featured in the top 10 beforehand. Always hitting some really nice clips. Oh my god, I'm going to have to shower after this. Rest in peace. Alright, Tomahawk. I've cut it straight to the kill cam because I don't want to bore you guys out watching that because obviously Tomahawk shots, they look like trash. On other games, they look a bit better than Black Ops 3, but on Black Ops 3 alone, they look like trash. Like, the kill cam just looks so bad, but... Nevertheless, man, I respect it. Crazy clip. Floater. Can't go wrong, man. A lot of people, when people started finding out about this glitch, I had so many people wanting me to do this, I never did it. Because <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I should, but I'm lazy, man. I can't be bothered learning how to get into that spot. That's my problem. So, yeah. Anyways, this one here by Clutch. This could be in the top 10. It might not be. Because he accidentally underspinned it, but build a kid all the way to spawn. Pretty crazy. We got some more NSL on a wall, which I don't know, there must be a little trick to it. And he, you know, hits a kid with just one bullet left, so he gets that cool reload animation. I don't know, how do you, like, I get maybe you can NSL on the wall, but not the way these kids are doing it. Like, they're doing it so quickly and so nicely. It's weird. You guys try NSLing on the wall, let me know how you go. Maybe. Hit me up on Twitter, at Inky, with three E's, not two E's. Everyone that links me clips, by the way, and when they title their YouTube video, they go, at Inky, with two E's. Like, you retarded. The, the bloke with at Inky, with two E's, is now a freaking uncle, I believe. He's tweeted once in his life about having a baby, or sister having a baby, or some bullshit, and that's all he's ever tweeted, and that was, like, six years ago. So, yeah, I'm at Inky, with three E's. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, well, yeah. If you happen to get a nice, clean NSL on the wall... You know, just send me over a little video on Twitter and I'll give it a nice, cute retweet. Anyways, Mecco, you would have to be in the top 10 for this. He has slid himself out of the map, hitting the non-setup smoker on Advanced Warfare, which is obviously a really tough game to hit trick shots on non-setup because the bullet trails are freaking trash. This here, Chili, he might have won up that other bloke that hit from here earlier because he wall run and he shot through solar panels. So, if you're wondering where the kid is, he would have been in, like, the spawn area. He would have built the kid for sure by the spawn area. So, that's pretty nuts. Here, look at the red dots. See? You barely have red dots. And who's he going to build? Bang. What the frick? I didn't even know the kid was over by bridge. I thought he's going to build the kid in the turbine. But, holy shit. Okay. I love when you drop through the black hole, but this bloke didn't do it. Do you guys remember Faye Zimes' clip on this map? That was nuts. He hit like the craziest 1080 from that spot, like the Lion King Rock, and he dropped through the hole and built a kid in the uh, window spot on the turret. Like, it was such a crazy clip too. Like, the combo he did was so nuts. Tunes, he just freaking went crazy. Just flew out the map freaking on campaign. Nuts, man. Tunes is freaking just delicious. This clip is in the top 10. It's got to be. There's no doubt. I don't know how I'm going to pick the top 10. I swear I've said about 30 people this month are going to be in the top 10, like, for sure. Like, you, you may not for sure be in the top 10 then because I've said so many people, but I've never seen anyone hit from there. Too small an area on Combine. That was just, that was really beautiful. It was majestic. Majestic to the eyes. Majestical. Mute hits a dunger. All right, we've got two minutes left, guys. Now, how do you submit clips? How do you feature in my Clips of the Month series? It is pretty simple. You upload your clip to YouTube, either public or unlisted, not private because I can't view it. From there, you go to the top of your browser, you copy the link of your uploaded video, you then go to my Clips of the Month video, you go down in the description and you'll see a Google Docs form. You click on that Google, Google Docs form, you then paste your link to your YouTube donger into the box and then click enter or submit. You submit your clip. So all you do is basically 
just copy and paste your link and paste it into my little box. We'll call it a box. There's a box. You put it in the box and you click submit. And that's it. You're done. And then I'll simply just go through my submissions. I'll see your link. I click on it. If it's usable, bang, download it, bang. Put it in a folder. From there, copy it over to another folder called Clips of the Month in case I lose my downloads folder. From there, I put it in Sony Vegas, cut it up, overlay it at this little blue thing there, and um, yeah. I commentate over it. That's music behind it. You may be in the top 10 too, so you might have a little fancy edit behind it at the end. And uh, yeah, maybe gain some subs from it. I don't know. Dynamic. This is crazy. This could be in the top 10. It has to be. He like perfectly waited for the bot to be in a particular spot. And then he smoked it like a wall bang. It was so clean. The fact that it's a floater just makes it that much better. Evade. He's featuring a lot. Throughout this episode, I was calling him Evades with the Ness and Evade with our Ness. I didn't know what to call him. Laddered, this is the very last clip you guys are going to see, I believe, from this bloke. So, um, yeah, appreciate the clip. Appreciate the creativity. Appreciate the, what the frick is going on. No one knows. But, yeah, really cool clip. Oh, I've got one more clip after this, guys. So, I'm about to hit the hay. Enjoy the rest of your day or night. Let me know if you got to the end of the video. If you do... Just leave a comment. I'm really curious if anyone has sticked around. Remember, guys, it is going to be a top 10, so stick around for that. You guys are going to see some crazy clips, and make sure to subscribe to them. Anyways, I'm out. See you later, guys. Bye.